Do you use a phone? Of course you do. We all do, every single day. That's why in this lesson, I'm going to give you 100 useful sentences that you can use when you talk on the phone. When you hear a sentence, practice saying it after me. Try to copy my pronunciation exactly. All right, let's start. There are two ways that a phone call can begin. You can either make a call, this is when you dial a number to speak to someone, or you can take a call, that is when the phone rings and you answer it. Let's first look at some sentences for making a call. When you make a formal call, that is work related, start with hi or hello, then use one of the two expressions you see on the screen. I'm going to use my name and an imaginary company name. Practice after me, but use your name and either your company's name if you work, or you can use an imaginary company name. Hi, this is Ganesh from Zoomfin Financial Services. Hello, my name is Ganesh. I'm calling from Zoomfin Financial Services. If you're making an informal call to a friend or family member or a semi-formal call to a colleague or business contact you know well, then start with hi or hey. Then say the other person's name followed by its and your own name. Hey Annie, it's Ganesh. In an informal or semi-formal call, it's also common to exchange greetings. How's it going? How are you? Good, thanks. Great, thanks. What about you? What's up? Not much. The usual. After the introduction, you will ask for the person or department you wish to speak to. First, some expressions for formal calls. May I speak to Douglas Adams? Could I speak with Mary Smith, please? I'd like to speak to Vijay Kumar, please. Could you put me through to technical support, please? Put me through means connect me to that person or department. Here are some expressions for informal and semi-formal calls. Is Doug there? Is Mary around? Can I talk to Vijay? Once you're talking to the right person, you might want to mention your reason or purpose for calling. I'm calling to ask about your software consulting services. Could you tell me how much it costs? I just wanted to ask if you're free to meet sometime this week. Sometimes the person you are trying to speak to might not be available. In that situation, you can ask one of these questions. When would be a good time to call? When will he be back? Do you know when she'll be back? You can also request the person who's speaking to take a message. Could you take a message for him? I'd like to leave her a message. Please ask her to call me back. Could you ask him to call me back? Please tell him that I'm in town. Please let her know that I would like to meet her. Let's now turn to taking a call. In informal or semi-formal calls, we would just say hello and then exchange greetings with the caller like how are things or what's up. But in formal situations, these two sentences that you see on the screen are very common to introduce yourself. After that, you can use one of the two expressions, how may I help you or what can I do for you today?
Here are a couple of complete examples. Practice after me with your own name and company name. Good afternoon, Zoomfin Financial Services, Ganesh speaking. How may I help you? Thank you for calling Zoomfin Financial Services. This is Ganesh. What can I do for you today? If the caller doesn't introduce him or herself, you will need to find out who's calling. Use one of these sentences. Could I ask who's calling? May I ask who's calling? Who's calling, please? Where are you calling from, please? When the caller asks to speak to someone else, you will tell him or her to wait using one of these expressions. Please hold. Let me transfer you. I'll put you through now. I'm connecting you now. Just a moment. Hold on. Hang on a second. Now, if the person that your caller asks for isn't available, you can say, I'm sorry, he's on another call right now. I'm sorry, she's not here today. I'm afraid he's not available at the moment. I'm afraid she's left for the day. He's not in his office right now. She's out of town. He's not home right now. She isn't back from work yet. He's gone to the movies with his friends. You can also ask if your caller wants to leave a message. Can I take a message? Would you like to leave a message? I'll give her your message as soon as she gets back. I'll ask him to call you as soon as he gets back. I'll let her know that you called. Sometimes you might get a call asking for the wrong person. This type of call is called a wrong number or a misdialed call. In that case, you can say, I'm sorry, there's nobody here by that name. I think you've dialed the wrong number. So far, we've looked at specific sentences for making and taking calls. Now we will learn general purpose sentences you can use in any call. Asking for information. Would you happen to know when the conference takes place? Can you give me a tentative date? Can I have your name and number, please? Checking information. When you are writing something down, you might want to ask for the spelling of a word. To do this, ask, could you spell that for me? To confirm what you have written down, say, let me read that back to you. Having difficulty with a call. Sorry, I can't hear you very well. Could you speak a little more loudly, please? Could you speak up a little? Would you mind speaking a little more slowly? Could you repeat that? Could I call you back, please? It looks like we have a bad connection. I didn't catch what you just said. I'm sorry, what was that? Can you say that again? Can I call you back? Sorry, you're breaking up. 
Making arrangements. How about next Friday? Would tomorrow work for you? Shall we say September 12? Asking for suggestions or preferences. What would you suggest? What would you prefer? Do you have a place in mind? Making requests. Could you send me the details by email, please? Would you mind calling back tomorrow? Responding to a request. Yes, I'd be happy to. Sure, no problem. I'll email you the details right away. Sorry, I can't do that. I'm afraid I don't have that information. I'll have to get back to you on that. Ending the call. It was nice talking to you. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your time. Thanks for calling. Have a nice day. Anyway, I should get going. Take care. You too. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, if you like this lesson, give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button to get my latest lessons right here on YouTube. Happy learning, and I will see you in another lesson soon.